Um, the actual first topic I want to get into is um, what do y'all think about the state of female rap right now? And and what is the hardest thing? I know y'all both are artists. You know, what is the hardest obstacle y'all would say is, you know, that challenges y'all with being a female rapper? Um, you want to go first? Um, Let's start with the state of female rap first. Let's the state that. of female rap? I feel like right now there's a lot of like fem C's, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to put it that way. Um, women have really been taken over as to comparison as um, back in the days where it was just like Nikki for a while winning BET Awards for 10 years straight, right? And she was or is the queen of rap, right? Mm. And um, now we got a lot of people in the room, right? Like we got Lola, we got Billy, we have Ice Spice, we have a lot of females, Doja, um, just a lot of people who've been in the game and are just getting into the game, right? Mm -hmm. So there's now a voice for female rap. Um, there's a pedestal for us. There's a genre for us. There's a there's space for us. There's room for us, right? It's not like back in the day when like it would be that one female rolling with like a group, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But now it's like we could roll by ourselves, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I think I think the state of female rap is is doing good for us. Like we could we could pay like a lot of people paved the way for us to like now walk, mm. right? So um, mm. yeah, I mean I think it's dope. The only obstacle I would say is that like right now there is like one certain image and there's like a lot of pressure to be like a sex symbol versus mm. like just being your complete self. Mm. I don't think it's pressure yeah. to be a sex symbol. I see all I different like, type of girls now. Like yeah. before there was just like, you got, you know you got to look like this. Now I see a whole bunch of different type of girls just thriving in their own style and whatever, whatever. Just like how the guys um, had. Mm. The girls are definitely doing better than the guys right no, now. That's <laughs> the thing. The girls are doing... Yeah, like the girls are... I mean, when you say doing better, like what exactly do you mean by that? It's because... The guys, it's, it's been, um, the industry's been male dominated for so long. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's like we kind of seen all y'all tricks already. We seen y'all dye y'all hairs. We seen y'all flip, take the shirts off. Do Y'all done did everything now. So now with the girls, it's like, okay, damn, I only used to see these kind of girls. But now it's all these type of girls. And then everybody be having their own fan base. It's like different fan bases and different. So it's a lot. Like, I don't think you have to fit into like one type of look right now or one type of sound. Like. It's really a lane for everybody. It's just about how you play it and like, you know. But what do you think about the people who step outside that sex symbol box though, right? Because for instance, Doja Cat, she did that. Mm -hmm. And because her fan base was strong, mm -hmm. people were like, we riding with her, mm -hmm. right? She's different, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But not everybody was jacking that. Everybody was like, yeah. what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> so yeah. there's that lane for that, right? I mean, it, I, that's why I said it depends on how you finesse it. Mm. Like, you know, like you could, you could, you could be, have your own style and everything, but it's how you do it. Like, you got to be cool with it. Like every, like you can't just you be like, it. oh, right. y'all don't like me because I don't have a BBL. Y'all don't like me. Like, no, we don't like you because you're fucking lame. Like, <laughs> that's why we don't like you. You're that's lame. It. Like, whatever you do, you could do whatever you want to do. You just have to be cool. You have to be likable. People got to want to be like you. Like, people mm. got to want to wake up and be motivated seeing what you doing and how you moving and mm. how you, oh, damn, you different and you making this shit work. You make this shit look mad cool. It look mad fly. Mm. Like, you can't just, oh, I'm different and then expect us to, to care. We don't give a fuck. Like, you're a fucking lame. Make like, us care. Yeah, like, like it's just, yeah. it just got to be cool. It yeah. got to have some substance. It got to have some flavor. It got to it gotta be seasoned. Like, that shit, I, you got to make me want to, like, damn, that's cool. I never thought about that. That's dope. Like, that's that look good. So, it's just so that. what you do you think about, swag. like, how do you, for example, I'm going to be completely honest, I really don't listen to female rap because I don't feel like I could identify with it. Like, you get what I'm saying? There's no way I'm about to blast some shorty so talking about. there's no female rap No, there's, there's, a, there's a couple of them. To. There's oh, a couple okay. of them. Oh, um, yeah, there's a couple of them for yeah, sure. Right, yeah. But for the most part, I ain't bumping like my my booty hole brown and <laughs> Like if no, a woman you, you know you if, listening if a woman, to that. Nah, I'm not. A few, <laughs> them, a few of y'all is listening. Y'all love nah. rich baby daddy. Yeah. <laughs> nah, no, we don't. Like you know what I'm saying. Y'all yeah. like, like shake them dreads, shake them dreads. I, 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 I dreads. cannot listen to a Especially woman talking about. <laughs> what is that? I don't. Shake yeah. them dreads, shake them dreads. All right, so they, like when no, Gorilla but I'm saying in general, out. I can't relate to women talking about pop like they fuck a rich nigga today ain't one and popping a pussy. Like I can't. I, I don't subscribe to that, so that's why I'd be like kind of turned out to that. I know, I understand that's not my, that's not my, I'm not they tor, uh, they core um audience, they target, like you know what I'm saying. But how would you say you, would you get more men to kind of like take women 
uh, female rap more seriously and be like, you know what, we more than just selling sex and whatever the case yeah, is. Like, baby, you know? if y'all don't want it, I ain't giving it to you. I'm not pushing nothing on nobody. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I'm not trying to make guys like, like honestly, I don't give a, like, I just do this. It's not for everybody, you understand? Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. And same way there's certain probably male artists you wouldn't listen to, like, mm -hmm. You know, it's just not your cup of tea. I don't, I don't, I don't believe in pushing nothing on nobody or forcing nothing or trying to like get in the male gaze. Like whatever guys that come is cool. Like it's cool. But honestly, I just do this for me and for the people I fuck with. Right. So, yeah. so like it, this you know, shit's hard, and you read that. Yeah, shit like I'm not, hard. I'm not because you get caught up, and then yeah. sometimes girls, it, you start to become a pick me when it's like, oh, I want to make sure that the guys could like it, and the girls could like it, and the cats could like it, and dogs could like it. No, like just do what you like, what you feel comfortable doing, and what you'll be comfortable doing every time. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes a lot of people try to conform to certain things, and then they're not even comfortable doing that. Like mm -hmm. so, I'm gonna wear baggy is... clothes because boys, you know, the boys wear the baggy clothes. Yeah. Then you wearing all these baggy clothes, and now the niggas is coming up <laughs> slapping you five, and they ain't saying you look good. And now you feel insecure. And now you looking at the bitches that come around like. You right. fucking hoes. <laughs> you right. bitches are hoes. Like, no, not, no. Like, you were just mad because you had to do that to be cool. Yeah. And then you, now you're not comfortable in that because that's not you. Like, you gotta just be Versus yourself. Just yeah. being yourself. Yeah, you just right. gotta be right. yourself. And you know what's crazy too? Like, with, what I observe with men, mm. like, when women try to, like, be a little aggressive um, in their approach when it comes down to the, the dynamic of music, they're like, ooh. They don't like it. Like, it's too gritty for them. So mm. where is there an in-between? Like, that's why individuality does matter. Because mm. it's just like, all right, when a girl goes hard and starts acting like a man or is just uh, 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 aggressive, <laughs> they like, Ew, why she sound like a man? Or why it's she like, I thought that's what y'all wanted. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, I, thought, I, I thought y'all wanted me to rap. Yeah, I thought you, wanted, you wanted, don't wanted to hear that yeah. bass in her voice, I right? I don't care words. about the men and then saying, like, oh, I thought this is, what this is how y'all wanted no, no, me to no. rap. No, no, no. She said, like, when some girls that do that type of stuff, yeah. y'all talk down on them. Yeah. Oh, it's too aggressive. Y'all too rough. Y'all talking, y'all acting like niggas. But why you got to throw on a deep voice to rap, though? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Because it's a character. I'm saying, wouldn't that be something that y'all would supposedly be able to relate to? The girl that's aggressive, that's talking. And shoot them up, yeah. bang bang, with the deep voice. There's Wouldn't that be something y'all relate to? And then it's like y'all get that, and y'all still don't. Y'all just you don't can't like satisfy y'all. Why, why are we? Wait, What's wrong what? with y'all? We not right. relating to a woman that's talking about shoot up, bang bang. Like they they not no, attractive not, in the streets. Why would they be attractive in songs? I'm not saying shoot up, bang bang bang. I'm not saying that. So I'm just saying, about? she's just saying because he was saying like a lot of girls do like the pussy talk rap. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then when you get the girls that do the gangster but rap, guys is like, oh, that, and I can go ahead and name a few women that do it and they talk about it. Over here, you don't gotta go all the way over here. You can just have bars, and niggas gonna fuck with it. Mm. But Not that's it. All the way over that's what Nikki, 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 Nikki never told about shoot up, bang bang, but she yeah, had she bars. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> maybe she had a couple songs like that, but for the most part, her songs is not me. Yeah. Well, no, but and, she and has and her. You fuck with it. She did yeah. what she do. Like. If yeah. you study Nikki's whole like music history, though, uh -huh. it's character based. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You had the Romans' Revenge, you mm -hmm. had the Pink Fridays, and just like you have, you know, different people. Create a character around the music mm -hmm. so they can gravitate to the audience. Mm -hmm. So if okay, any of these two women decides to put on a character for a certain duration and it pops off, then that's what it is. Mm -hmm. But it's just like okay, when you have um, you know the approach where women do get aggressive, you guys don't really like that. And I literally <laughs> watch it. I literally watch it. We don't it. like aggressive... Yeah. Well, I'm not going to say it. There's some <laughs> niggas that do like it. I, I'm not for one the, of them. They don't. Part. For the most they part, don't they, don't, like they don't like yeah. aggressive women. Like, that's but not I something that's I got mad attractive. hoes, though. <laughs> huh? I have mad hoes, though. It's because you're pretty. It's not because you're a <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. ain't got shit to do with that. Yeah, I got yeah, fans. Yeah. Let me yeah. not call them that. Fans, uh, and, fans and friends. Wait, yeah. you be fucking your fans? Fans and friends. <laughs> <laughs> fans and friends. Ask, no, for real, for ask real. Ask your fans I, and friends why they like you. I guarantee they're going to be like, because um, you're aggressive. They say that I'm <laughs> pretty aggressive. and my personality. And my personality does have some type of, you know, aggressiveness to it. And mm. it's not because... We're trying to be men, or we're mm -hmm. trying to be aggressive, or mm -hmm. is this person gonna like my music? Is am I gonna attract um, older mm -hmm. men? Whatever lane mm -hmm. is about where we grew up. Like mm -hmm. this isn't just cause oh, and I have brothers, right? I grew up with a lot of brothers, a lot of male cousins, mm -hmm. and I also am from New York, from Harlem. So it's like <laughs> there is some type of umph, some sauce, some 
you know, yeah, but, but hardness cause you pretty, about me. Because <laughs> you pretty, men gonna overlook that little aggressive <laughs> shit that you do every now and then. Like, ah, she a little aggressive. No, I mean, that <laughs> does, that does play like into it. Because uh, if, if you certain was, girls if you do wasn't pretty now, like, guys be like, I hate when girls do this, but then certain girls do it, and they be like, she kind of make it look cute. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, so right, that's like, right. it. <laughs> now, now, if you was ugly in doing that, I mean, you might get smacked or something. <laughs> <laughs> or snuffed or some shit. I don't know, but... I yeah, mean, we, we might... the biggest bullies be on TikTok, like, with my voice especially. Uh -huh. They be like, oh my God, I thought it was a little boy. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Your voice is not yeah. even Shit. that deep, though. The, the comment section is good. Yeah, yeah. The comment section is good. Yeah, the comment section, you can't yeah, yeah, yeah. just stay out. Yes. Listen, I do want to ask this, man. This is this is a judgment-free zone. Um, would y'all be writing your own shit? Of course. Yes. Yeah, listen, ain't no shame in it. A lot of women, there's a lot of women in this industry that be having motherfuckers write they they shit and a woman's perspective. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. mm -hmm. that's why I was just asking. Really? Like, you know, do you think do you think it makes you less of an artist? Yeah. Yeah. Party, you don't party. write? I don't think that. I don't think <laughs> I don't okay. think so neither. I'm, I write all my stuff, but I don't think it makes you less of an artist if you don't write. I'm speaking in the perspective of just a person in the background, because I do work in music mm -hmm. um behind the scenes. And a lot of the times I wanted to create a platform where I would help help people um, that struggle with writer's block. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, right. sometimes you guys have your creative process and it doesn't stick sometimes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you got to like travel somewhere else to get that creative mm -hmm. like vibe to get in your zone. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't see it as an issue because when you make it to the top, top, you stop writing. Mm -hmm. you, you stop got writing. So much stuff to Some I, of them I think, do. yeah, I think it's, you have so much it's only when you brag about like, so if you, if you a rapper and you say, yo, I'm the, I'm the best rapper alive, and you, and then you got a ghostwriter, and then it's like, all right, your yeah, credit. Yeah, no, and if you're yeah. a woman and you saying, look, I'm better than all these niggas. Yeah. These niggas can't hold a candle to me. But then you got a writer, then it's different. Like, you, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. people care about having a writer. I think when you try to self proclaim yourself mm -hmm. as I'm better because my lyrics and mm -hmm. you not writing your shit, that's when it becomes an issue. No, like, but yeah. like I'm saying, yeah. like when you become like a it factor in the industry, you'll have producers and different people in your label that are going to try to pitch you references. Yeah, That's what you, mm -hmm. you know, and they will see if it's deemed fit for you. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to agree to it or not. You don't have to necessarily agree to it, but mm -hmm. it's just like something that's inevitable once you reach that, you know, stature. But of course, if you write, you write. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, they're not going to force you. If you, you want to be in that top five at the end of the day, you can't have no ghostwriter. Like, Top five as so, far as but what? But the top five. Like, no, I, they, have, they have writers ooh. in the, the room. Five ghost writers. Like, say, say for instance, Bro, look at the, if you look at yeah, the Cole? credits, yes, look at the credits to their songs, my boy. I'm talking about, I'm talking about they verse. I'm not talking about hooks and shit. I'm talking about verses. Like, no, ain't nobody came out and said well, they wrote no verse for hooks. Let's say I publish a song and you Cole. wrote at least two, three lines. Your name is going on the credits. If, right? Like, regardless of the matter. If I wrote the whole verse and you wrote All right, but what I'm line, saying is, if you in that top five and you come out and they say that, oh, I wrote this for this, you falling out that top five. Yeah, no, it definitely you will. Think so, though? It yes. definitely will make you look at a person a little different because it is a, a skill that should be praised and honored and all that. Yeah. But I feel like, uh, like wait, wait, music. Come out. Huh? Come out. When we talk about, let's just talk about female rappers of all time. We know Lil' Kim is up there. And we know Biggie was writing her shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So she not a top five female rap artist of all time? I mean, it ain't, it, it ain't much competition. <laughs> so it's like, so it's not like, like I, so, yeah, like, girl, I mean, for the women, but, it might be. I mean, a she bit. might not even be my top five for real. Like, she not in your top five. She's not top five, but she was iconic, right? She, she's an icon. She had her yeah. time. Icon. She's yeah. an icon. She had her time. But not now that we know that. You know, I mean, that was Biggie. You know, what I mean, we can't put. But we uh, always we talk about Biggie. Though, but we, right? I think, you know like, when like, we talk about with women is different because if you're gonna talk about straight lyrics, yeah. Then you gotta go to to the spitters. I don't even think the top fives or like the mainstreams are like that's, straight that's lyricists. We'll, we'll Those we, are like we'll be you know about, whole. Like, yeah. Entertainers like, mm -hmm. well, if you just talking lyrics, you gotta go to the hood. You gotta, you gotta go to the trenches. You gotta go underground for that. Yeah. No man, yeah, you definitely gotta go. Listen, let me. Cause we, I feel like we could talk about this motherfucker all day. <laughs> yeah, like we've been on and on.